Hello, Fire Signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be looking at how your person is feeling and thinking about your current connection. I'll be using two different decks. We're going to look at the subconscious and the conscious mind. So there may be some hidden messages happening um, behind the scenes or um, something you weren't aware of. So uh, if you'd like a private reading, please feel free to reach out. Um, otherwise, let's have a look. Let's first jump into this person's uh, subconscious mind, this romantic person um, that you're connected with or want to connect with or be reconnected with. Let's have a look. What's their subconscious mind um, thinking and feeling? Let's look, bottom of the deck. Okay, the tower card. There's a lot of chaos and calamity that's happening. The subconscious mind, it's like wreaking havoc. Okay, so subconsciously there's there's displacement. They're not feeling themselves. There's something that's happened that's been either a huge red flag for this person um, or it's shaken them to the core. The tower card is this moment of chaos or uncertainty. And subconsciously, this person is feeling like there's uncertainty about your connection. Now, it could also be that if you've just met, things are happening too fast. We've got the lightning rod. So they feel very consumed by your connection. They're very consumed by how quickly things have gone, how much they've connected with you, sexual chemistry. There is this like, um, yeah, there's like this huge connection on their end um, and they're feeling it very, very strongly. Now, but I do want to say there's something here that's been bothering them. We'll have a look and see what that is. But I think to have that tower card come up, I think it's very likely that this person feels very phased or they don't feel like themselves right now, at least in the subconscious mind. Now, they not may be revealing this to you. The tower is destructive patterns. This person is doing something destructive, maybe drinking, being abusive, um, not being themselves, something that's destructive, maybe. Let's have a look and see, though, why are they feeling the tower um, subconsciously? The two of Pentacles, they're weighing things up. Five of Swords could be about an argument that has happened. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, straight away, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords makes me feel like something's happened here that they've been through before in your connection, either with an ex or with you. Um, could be a betrayal, could be pain or hurt. We see something cyclical here. So this person is going through some cyclical thoughts or something that you've done or they've done, it's happened before and they're reliving it again and it's traumatic with the tower card. So they're going through some traumatic things. They may be fearful of not getting hurt. They may have been hurt or betrayed, cheated on or lied to very badly in the past and they're afraid that this is going to happen before. So they've put a wall up. Subconsciously, they're not, um, they're not opening themselves up to this connection as much as they thought they would. They're weighing things up. The Two of Pentacles, I feel like they're doing a lot, a lot of thinking, a lot of feeling. Um, but the wall up still tells me that they haven't broken down those barriers. So if you're finding it tough to get to this person and to connect to them, it's because maybe they're fearing the past is going to repeat itself. History's going to repeat itself or you've done something to hurt or betray them very badly. But I get a vibe that it's happened before and they've tried to like... You know how, notice how the two of pentacles, it's like the juggler. He's trying to juggle things, make it all work, make it all perfect. So it's, it's, it's it could even be like a puppet, puppeting. So what I mean when I say this is that if you've tried to control this person, if you've tried to puppet them, sway their opinion, um, put your wants, needs, desires before theirs, it could be that they feel like this has happened before and they're afraid it's going to happen again. So it could be coming from a place of fear that their subconscious is fearful of this because notice how he's in the grip. I don't know if this is like control issues of what we're seeing here. He's in the grip of the swords and uh, the grip of the bird. So it could be that they're not getting enough freedom that, um, you know, that they're, they're not feeling this, this way here. They don't want to walk away. But they also don't want to fight about it. They could be exhausted. Five of Swords is normally, okay, we'll fight for what we want. We'll we'll push and we'll resist and we'll say X, Y, and Z. But it's reversed. So subconsciously their mind is saying, don't, don't fight them on this. Just withdraw. You know, don't fight this. Don't fight with them on this. You know, maybe seeing some red flags here. So I, it's almost like subconsciously they don't want to speak up, but it's bothering them. Really interesting let's see how they're presenting themselves though what's going on in their conscious rational mind
Okay, the Empress, they are not <laughs> really showing you what's going on internally. The Empress is there, they're masking this or they're hiding it quite well. Um, now, this is a card of love, though. So they want to show you love and they want to be loved by you. They don't want that to stop. That might be why they're not saying anything to you. Um, and I feel like with the Empress here, they're, they're presenting themselves very cool, calm and collected. But underneath, I feel like there's turmoil. So the Empress is like this motherly energy. So I get the vibe... I get the vibe here that they, their conscious mind, how they're acting, I get that they're acting out of their true intentions for you. I don't think that this person has ulterior motives. Um, I feel like with the Empress, they're enjoying your attraction phase or they're enjoying what you have, but they want a sense of calm or they're trying to be calm about the situation. Maybe they're trying to reassure themselves or reassure you that everything's fine. They want to grow from this though. So it's almost like their rational mind is telling them, okay, something traumatic has happened. This person has done something. It's hurt us. It's hurt me, but I need to grow from it. It's just a traumatic experience. Can I forgive? Can I forget? Can I let what happened in the past go? So I get a sense that there may be this bit of a, this battle going on in their mind, but I like this because I feel like it's showing they're willing to grow um, they're willing to transform or it's a message here that that rational mind is saying, you know what, let's try and move past this. But let's see. I think the Empress is, is, is a really good sign. It could also be someone thinking that they see you as the mother of their child or they see you as a divine feminine, um, very caring, maternal or paternal energy. And they simply adore this. Okay, so I've got the Ten of Wands. Okay, they're doing hard work. Two of Swords, but it's reversed, and then the Knight of Wands. Okay. They're tied to you. And I keep getting this theme of restriction. And it's come up in both aspects of their mind. Look at the Knight of Wands. See how he's tied up? There he is, and his head, his body is tied up by these lights. Um, this bird and some energy. He's walking through the woods here. He's got... Um, the planks on his back, the, the staffs on his back. Um, I keep getting their, they feel restricted, but they're not trying to show it. Or they're good at masking it. Be careful with re restricting this person too much or controlling them too much because they are feeling it. Could even feel suffocated or smothered in some regard. Um, it could also be that they've got themselves involved in some sort of tricky situation. What I get from seeing this is I get that this person didn't intentionally want to fall for you. Um, and I feel like suddenly you've got them wrapped around your finger. I'm getting a vibe that this person told themselves, I've been hurt. I don't want to jump into anything too serious. Don't attach. Don't attach. Don't attach. Don't do this. And then suddenly it's all happened. And maybe that's why they're feeling it. Suddenly they're like, oh, no. No, 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 no. Here I am. Here I am again. I'm in love. I'm head over heels. Now I don't know what I'm doing. So they, they, there may be thoughts that they've moved into quickly um, or they moved the relationship too quickly. Knight of one sort of presses ahead and sometimes he's careless or he's reckless. So this person is feeling a bit impulsive at this stage where they're at. Um, they're not saying no, or they're not very good in saying no, or declining you. Two of Swords, but it's reversed. I get a vibe that they're blind. It's almost like their rational mind is not seeing things clearly. Um, but I feel with the Two of Swords reversed, I don't think they have anyone else. I don't think they're keeping their options open. I think they're putting in a lot of work for you. They're doing a lot for you than, than they have done for anyone else, I feel. Um, and it's something that you may need to be uh, grateful for because it, there's a lot of growth that's happened in this person mentally, psychologically, since being with you than who they used to be in the past. So um, continue to watch that growth. Keep an eye on the things that they would do that they haven't done or the things that they slowly start to do for you. Um, but I will leave it at that. Thank you again for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.